that she hopes that she's not giving him like a mixed signal or like passing the wrong message to him. If he allows what Praise is doing to annoy him, that they will disqualify him because he will hurt Praise. That Chebi kid knows that Praise's baby mama is 60 years. I said, hey! Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it was it happening? My name is Omi or DK and this is Talk to Your Omi TV, my darling here. I love to give very sweet and juicy gist. And today we're talking baby ninja lockdown day 34. This is the most romantic love revealing episode ever, but also the most confusing of all. Nengi has come again to come and put Ozo inside one piece. It feels like uh, she has to shake the ground. And I can't blame her because she understands that she has to train. Because what Nengi did yesterday midnight, I say, hey. I thought Nengi, yo, what's Tony? Oh my gosh, guys, Brighto. Hey! Brighto has come again eh, to carry, I don't know if I'll call it on a lie or the kind of gist that Brighto gave us about praise will bust your head. Subscribe to the channel because see, this is where all the gist goes down. Don't do all eh? And click the bell button inside the subscribe button. That way, you know when I post a new video and get to watch all my gist firsthand, my darling. One more thing, please give me a thumbs up because more thumbs up means more views and more engagement. You feel me? Now let's begin. So let's talk about the poem. In fact, when I tell you the poem, the task here that Biggie gave them. Now, are the housemates doing the task? How Biggie wants them to do, I'm not sure, but I love the way the task is going so far. Now, what is the task? Biggie says to them, um, men and women love differently. Argue that notion by debating on it and also doing like a poetry slam. Now, see, these housemates have used this poetry slam thing there to profess their love for one another. That's what they are doing. Because you know what I mean? Men and women love differently, yeah. So they are doing like boy against girl. Tolani, Vaj, and uh, Prince are going head to head. See, Prince is just telling Tolani how he's feeling. Because, see, we all know that. I mean, when I say we all know, but if you want Tolani, Vaj, and Prince's love, my honey, it's a military regime kind of thing. Don't talk to that girl. I don't look at that girl. You didn't come and meet me. You didn't come. Almost. So, I finally gave her own poem. Prince just came and said, You're talking about fear. Fear. I walk around ex this is his own poem. I walk around eggshells when I'm with you because I'm afraid to make you angry. I can't be my real self because I'm afraid to hurt your feelings. Like everything that the prince has ever felt around Tolani, he's using it to just pass it. His own is so deep. And I hope Tolani can listen very well and get the jerk. You feel me? The next Nico and um, Erica. <laughs> A bear go. Leko is just using this one to go and check Erika. Biggie says, I you the notion that men and women love differently. Leko is there saying, you know, my lovely, your smile is kiniko, your kin. I say, hey, let's click. How far now? Which one is all this love thing? And then Watoni and Brighto. <laughs> Watoni is just there telling Brighto her heart for him. Like, see, eh, in her poem, see, eh, you know, your heart is hard to read. I don't know if you like me or not. You la 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 la. Tell me what it is. Look me in the face and tell me. But then I replies her. You say my heart is hard to read, but you know I make you happy. I'm happy you. As in, see, this is just what is happening in the house right now. Because you know, right now is the most confusing house me ever. You cannot tell what's in that guy's heart, man. You really can know. Like, okay, perfect example. The Dorothy is going to die room telling Biggie that you know I'm right to the beginning to have a vibe. I feel that yeah, but if you watch the show, you can hardly see that connection. From breakfast angle, you can have. In fact, even in the house, it's, it's always with Watoni hanging out with her, talking to her, making food for her, everything. So we're looking like, bruh, Watoni came and is knocking him with the poetry. Like, how far? Tell me what it is, man. And then Nengi and Ozo, that's the one that is just busting everybody's head because see, Nengi is telling Ozo in her poem, oh, you want me to choose you as the right person for me, but you get me? Like, that's a very scary thing to do. I can hurt myself in the process. Ozo gave Nengi back. You tell me that I cannot get through your heart, but you boost a wall around your heart and look at me i'm just here trying to figure out how to cross or climb over the wall you built and how to learn to love you almost see it also is giving nengi get me you're making me like an ice box kiniko kiniko is hot to almost guys because if he has this thing yesterday night that's how nengi just did the reason say hey after this poem that also composed or more maybe see if you're nengi's boyfriend that she that she left before she got into this house Big up yourself. That girl is trying her best to stay loyal to you. I'm on Nengi reason this matter, reason, 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 reason. Ah, okay, that's how as we're having because you know right now us and Nengi are always together from morning to night together. Eating 
Even when they want to go and use the toilet, they will escort each other out. Nengi would go to the door, wait for him, he would go to the toilet, he would come out. That's how they are, yeah? So as they were eating yesterday night now, like dinner, yeah? Nengi now said that was about which she that she just wants to know that she hopes that she's not giving him like a mixed signal or like passing the wrong message to him as she's close to him. Also, just calm down, begin to look. See, the way Ozo can look at somebody, eh, you feel very stupid for seeing what you said. He was just looking at her, like into her soul, looking like this, like looking at her. Then she said, ah, did I say anything bad? Oh, yeah, sorry. I take it back. He was just looking at her. He looked at her, look at her, look at her. He said, I see, let them go and sleep. Ha. Then he said, no, 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 that she doesn't want to sleep, that the light is still on. Let him stay back here. I just say, eh, okay. Let him go and throw something. He gets up, he goes to throw the bottle of water he was holding here, yeah? and he comes back to meet her and he's looking at her. She said, eh, that the way you're looking at me, okay, I'm shy. Did I see? All I want to just know is like, am I am I passing the wrong signal to you? Like, ah, eh. Hey. Also, doesn't look calm. She said, okay, you know what? Let her go. No, 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 no. Sit down. He said, now you see, eh. I'm very perplexed. And then you say, hey, grandma, don't enter the matter. What I say, no, no, no. It's not about grandma. See, I know what perplex means, eh, but I want to read the dictionary meaning of perplex eh, so you understand what also is saying. Perplex means completely baffled, very puzzled. Now, puzzled means cause someone to feel confused because they cannot understand something. You get also is confused. I don't understand where she's coming from. And he asked her like this. Where is this coming from? From nowhere, we're eating dinner, you're telling me if what's happening? Nike said, hey, that no, oh shit, okay, you know what? Forget I said what I said. What I said, really, imagine you're me. I'll come from nowhere. I'll tell you this same thing. You've told me like how many times, and I come and tell you, imagine I did not say this thing. Does it even make sense to you? Ha. Nengi said, as you could just touch up like, what am I? Hey, the girl was there. Also said, see, eh, that she knows how he feels about her. He has told her, right? But every time they talk about this matter, she will give him one reason or the other why they're gonna be together. And the last time they talked about the matter here, yeah, they agreed not to bring it up again. So where's she bringing this whole matter from? Why the guys confused here? Yeah. Let's talk about this thing here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget that because online, everybody's saying also leave this girl alone. As in, they are tired of also. Also, can you just leave Nengi alone? She just spec, yes, but. She doesn't need to turn Gary. She doesn't need to play a game. Oh, wow, fuck. Oh, mercy. Eh, let's not forget that everybody's playing a game. Also, my look like he's kiniko kiniko for honey. Don't remember. That might just be his game. I mean, let's be real. Nengi's hot. In the house, she's one of the hottest girls in the house. You get me? She has bum. She has duo. She's a fine girl. She's hot. So what if he just wants that female, female attention? What if? Because let's because I mean I've given also all the excuses I can think about. Oh, he has sisters. Oh, Kiniko, Kiniko. Right now, the only excuse that's on the table is that it could be his game. It could be that he likes the attention. He likes the gist. He's laughing. She's laughing. They're together. He's he has company. It could just be that. It could just be a more he see because let's be real here. When he leaves the house, Nengi is hot, eh? But on the street, never in the world in Lagos they are thousands of Nengis hot like that, fair like that, smarter than her. There are plenty. So maybe the guy is like, well, let me just keep body and soul together. I won't leave the house. I mean, move on. That could be his game. But what I would just say is, let him switch the game up a little. See how the journey has been here. At the beginning, Ozo was liking Nengi. Nengi was forming ah, everybody. I can talk to this person, that person, that person. Oh, Ozo gave her one week silence. Ah, what did we see? That one week, Nengi's head there. You see Nengi, her head was like, she could not be normal. Finally, you get me? They come back together. Then now she's bringing this gist to him. Also, she keep her. Just for the game, if he's really playing a game, eh, to shake the table because let's review. Also, it's fun. Like, the people that liked us, they are, we are confused. We don't even know what. Oh, also, so twist it up for us. Don't talk to Nengi for like one week. Change the game. Let's see something. Our God will now bless them. Eh? Ah, Biggie will now bring new housemate. I think this is the first season that we, the viewers, are begging Biggie for new housemate. The house needs to shake. We need to. We need a different vibe and a different feel. You get, and we want hot girls and hot guys. You get. Let us see if the kid reader, a uh, kid reader, kid Rika sheep will shake. Let us see if Nengi and all because let's remember Pepe them. Yeah, Messi says. Hmm. When Biggie brought new housemates, that was when I think I think it was Messi, Messi and Ike. Yeah, they were quarreling, but almost Messi saw new girls. Messi was I mean, Ike. That time they reconciled sharply. 
sharply calf you ain't to go and hold a man get on and say get on now please so oh, biggie please you want me house me let's see i'm somebody that is fine and like just the way like we want specs give us our spell let's, yeah let's see if then give let's just let's just see what will happen in the house now but i mean to me that's us as game but what's your opinion about us and then give matter tell me in the comment section my darling and now let's go to bright so and kid why now see this particular gist there let's go from the beginning prince is someone who likes to throw jabs at people jab like he likes to just like insult you in a joking way which makes no sense to me you cannot come to me and be insulting me like it's a joke you must be silly how <laughs> i don't understand what well, it doesn't make any sense to me okay okay how it makes no sense to me there and that's one two press one day was telling the house here yeah, that tochi who has been evicted that he knows that when he disses tochi he pains tochi in his heart Prince was saying it though, that he pains him in his heart, that he knows that if they were not in this house here eh, and he gives Tochi that kind of this, Tochi will chase him and want to beat him. So he pains him. So Breton asked him, so why do you now do it? He was like, eh, because they're in this house now and he's fully aware that nobody can beat him in this house. I'm like, really? So you're intentionally making people angry? Like, does it even make any sense? Like, really? Yesterday morning, eh, after they had their bath, they were all coming inside. Liko now comes now, uh, Prince said, ah, Liko, Today no be a big show now. now. I see how you look at this stuff, this shirt. You don't wear them before, you don't wear them, you don't wear that. Ah, ah. Breton now said, but ah, I'm not really good. Breton now said, ah, ah, please, you let like to embarrass somebody. Breton said, me? I don't embarrass anybody. You, ah, ah, look, did I embarrass you? Liko says, no, but doesn't mean that what you said is like, it doesn't make any sense still here. So obviously we can tell that Brighto has had that thing against Prince because he's getting irritated. So that's how Brighto and Kid Wire, they, they were playing a game like midnight yesterday. Yeah. And Brighto tells Kid Wire that see kids here, yeah, that Prince is becoming very annoying. Let's see the way Prince, this is everybody's becoming annoying. So he wants to check Prince there. Yeah. Like, because you know, Brighto has that whole story of dating a girl for eight years and didn't strap the girl at all. That, um, see guys, all these juice is in my comments, is in my stay comments, my Instagram page. Go, I'm um, talking to your home on Instagram. Go and watch the full video, like the main video. Yeah, okay. Back to the gist. So Breton was telling Kid that, that Prince uses that eight years dating a girl and not strapping a girl to like diss him. Yeah, so he wants to give Prince back. He was like, oh my, that he sees what Prince is doing, but he tries to restrain himself, hold himself, because if he allows what Prince is doing to annoy him, that they will disqualify him because he will hurt Prince. I remember that Kid says that one of his secret talents is that he's a trained fighter. So he knows how to fight to get me here. So if Kid says he will hurt Prince, I'm gonna make Kid hold the body. Yo. Um, Brighton was an airborne, no, 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 that, is, that he wants to give praise, stop now paying praise, that every kid knows that praise is baby mama, the woman that he's engaged to is 60 years, I said, hey, Brighton, how is that possible, even kid look like, ah, uh, how do you know this, Brighton was like, oh, don't worry, because you know how that's how Brighton is though, don't worry, I know, I know, kid says no, tell me, how do you know this thing, he said that Prince told him. Prince told you when, like three, two to three weeks ago, Prince told you that his wife is always because he's engaged. Let's say his wife. His wife is sixty years. But to say yeah, that, that he told him. Mo kid, did, did you just not sit down well in kids' head? Because you know that kids and Prince they used to be friends that year. Because right now, after kid became head of house, I've been seeing you're not as close as before, Sha, but they were close. And I'm sure Prince never mentioned to Kid that his mom was 60 years. So Kid is looking like, ah, but how do you know this? He said, yeah, oh, now that um, Prince told him. But you know, Kid's brain is working. Kid said, wait, she's 60 and they have a son together. And the son is still a small baby. How did she give birth at 60? It doesn't make any sense. Eh, but they said, okay, okay, maybe not 60, maybe 52. <laughs> Kid said, even at that, how did she born at 52? It doesn't make any sense to me. Brighto said, see, all I know is that the woman is older than him in law. That in fact, Brighto is sure that Prince is with the woman for her money. Hey, God. If you know Praise, hmm, and the woman tag them, tag Praise's account. Let them come and confirm to us because if Brighto is lying. Hey, guys. Wait, what? Is it, is, is it true? They are, pra, tag them. Let's know, man. Let's know. That's how you now move from that one to the fact that, um, that see, that Praise likes what Tony was telling Kid Wire. But you know, that one is true because there was this time we were all discussing about specs outside the house, yeah? In the house, rather. And then Prince said that his woman is just like Watoni. Like, he likes his women. They have, like, big ogre in front, yeah? And their hairline will start from, like, here so that the ogre will really show he likes them. And then he likes them like that, rather. And then um, their eyeballs will be bulgy. And that's how Watoni is. So Watoni is the speck, yeah? So Bato was telling Kid that, eh, that Prince likes Watoni. Ah, Kid said, eh. Oh. So you know what, yeah? Let's talk about Brighto. 
first and second week when they got into the house, that was who bright to work. But there's somebody who can look you in the eye and tell you rubbish. That girl likes you. Apply pressure. This girl likes you. Go on. It was better that even carried Leko. Uh, he didn't carry him. Leko allowed himself to fall. He told Leko, go and meet Erika. Before anything started happening, they were just friends though. No, no, no. She likes you too. Go and kiss her on the neck. Go on. Do you get so that's how in fact, that's why we liked him because he was bringing very crazy spice to the house but this particular one is uh, is below the belt uh -uh, if it is a lie if that's not how old praises woman is hey no 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 see yeah the reunion eh, to be mad like people will almost throw chair on Bretto's head because ha uh, if you do you think it's true have you heard it if uh, just tell me in the comment section what do you think about Brito and all this nonsense you see? And I want to hear your opinion in the comment section. Now let's move to Brito and Watoni. Mm -hmm. I was on my laptop. I want me to raise my head up. What did I see? Watoni and Brito they're on the same bed. I said, ah, okay, what's happening? They are gisting. Brito said, Watoni, see, let me tell you something. Say, tell me. Brito now begins. That praise likes you. Oh my God. Which one is praise likes you? How, guys? Yeah. Uh, have you seen praise and Watoni? Have you seen anything? It's even, it's even lucid that I'm seeing praise opening. Which one is praise? Like, where is it coming from? But when he said, eh, but you call. But he said, I'm in Kohal. I'm in Kohal. He said, you call, do you like me? He said, I like you now. I like you like his sister. I like you now. But when he said, eh, what kind of like? But he said, ah, wait, chill. Are there different kind of likes? But when he said, yes, tell me, what kind of like? Ah, he will not talk about something else. Um, but then he said, Brito, answer my question. <laughs> he was say, well, which question? He was using this girl to move, Mary, go around and Mary. You know what, yeah? That task that they are doing, eh, today, it will be hot. That is what is making everybody, because they are all writing out their heart and thoughts for each other. You get me in that task. That's why I think what Tony stared to now over reason. I'm sure she, as she wrote, and Brito replied, ah, She's now getting me over reason the matter. Watoni calm down. Watoni needs to calm down. All this man, man, ugh, because she was on all through. Tell me, answer my question. Tell me, do you like me? Tell me, ah, ah. Oh, the boy, yeah, we thought the boy was not trying. It was the boy was running away from the question, but she kept on going back. You're acting like you're smart, Abby. And so, I'm just like, Watoni, be <laughs> if a guy likes you, you can tell. <laughs> and if a guy likes you and you come up to him and say, Do you like me? and he's moving up and down, that's the cue that the answer is no. That's the cue. I mean, if he likes you, he'll tell you that men are like you. Yeah, but if it is, no, 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 no. And he's even laughing. And we too. Honey, move. Ah. Anyhow, Sha, what's your opinion about this whole bright matter? I want to hear your opinion in the comment section. And let's go to Kid Y and Tolani. So after Biggie wrote that letter to them that the bed is made for sleeping, you know, because, I mean, when they won head of house and Kid picked Tolani as a deputy, yeah, they had this whole sleeping arrangement where they said, you know, uh, them kids said sometimes he would sleep on the bed, sometimes on the floor, but he, he just did not want them to be on the same bed together, right? Now, Tolani has been sleeping on her bed. I don't know if that is even against, I think it should be against the policy, because why? Like, uh, man, I don't know. Um, Kid says that he likes to stretch, he likes to move, he likes to... But Biggie is not around right now. I want Biggie to come and address. I know he will address the matter because it doesn't make... I, I don't understand, like... Uh, it, uh, why is... I don't know, man. See, in my last episode, I talked about the matter. People were saying, oh, me, ha, 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 ha. Okay, so yeah, why is Tony sleeping in the main house as deputy? Why? Well, let me come and address the matter because to me, it makes no sense. Your deputy, just for one week. You're not going to like you get everybody has done it. Uh, Dorothy and also they had they'll put like pillow, put pillow so that don't cut. But which one is don't sleep? But like, anyway, Sha, I want to see what Biggie will do about it when it comes back to the house. Funny, that's all for today, my darling. Today's just is sweet. This is just from midnight till now. Imagine what's gonna happen like going forward. Uh, honey. Eh? Subscribe to this channel because this world just goes down. Please give me a thumbs up and more thumbs up means more views and more engagement. But I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And I think you guys really like liked the whole girl talk yesterday. <laughs> I, I told you that we're going to do more girl talk here. Yeah? We're starting. We're getting there. A lot of things to talk about. One thing I'll teach girls is how to talk, how to have a conversation with a guy. Girls don't know how to gist. We're here together, my darling. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, yeah? I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.